please subscribe and click the bell button. In this video, we are going to see the basics of control systems. So first, what is mean by system? System is nothing but a number of elements or components connected in the sequence to perform a specific task. Then this is a system. Then what is mean by control system? Control system is nothing but a system where the output is controlled by varying the input quantity. Next, what are all the types of systems? One is open loop system. There are two types. One is open loop system, another one is closed loop system. Open loop system is any physical system which does not automatically correct the variation in its output is called open loop system. It means this is a open loop system. This is input, this is output. Suppose in the output side if there is a disturbance means it will not affect the input. Here I have mentioned output quantity has no effect upon the input quantity. Next one is closed loop system. Closed loop system is a system where output has an effect upon the input quantity in order to maintain the desired output. It means, so this is, a, this is the block diagram of closed loop system. Actually, with open loop system, if there is a feedback that is called a closed loop system. This is input, that is reference input. Then this is a system. It consists of open loop system and also controller. Then output, here feedback. Suppose if there is a disturbance here, if there is a disturbance in the output side, what will happen? In order to maintain the output in steady state manner, the disturbance will be sent to here that will be compared with the reference and the error will be generated. So by comparing reference with the disturbance, we will generate the error. After the controller, it will be given to the open loop system. After open loop system, you will get the steady state output. So, what is the difference between open loop system and closed loop system? In open loop system, there is no feedback. We will give the input, we will get the output. If there is a disturbance in the output, nothing will happen in the input side. But in closed loop system, if there is a disturbance in the output side, what will happen? It will adjust automatically and it will maintain the steady state output. How? Because here the actual disturbance will be sent to here then it will be compared with reference finally at this point error will be generated so now this error will be given to the controller it will adjust and send the signal to the open loop system then we will get the steady state output then we will see what are the merits of open loop system we know in open loop system there is no feedback only system input side and output side so it is a simple and also economical more stable then demerits of open loop system open loop system is inaccurate unreliable and output does not correct automatically due to external disturbances next merits of closed loop system actually the demerits of open loop systems are inaccurate and also unreliable so uh, merits of closed loop system is accurate even in the presence of non non-linearities Next, less affected by noise. So, it is reliable and accurate. Then, noise free system. Then, demerits of closed loop system. We know in closed loop system, there is a feedback involving. It means it is a complex. So, one extra block is added. Therefore, it will cost high. It may lead oscillatory response because when we give disturbance, it will take some time to come to steady state position. Therefore, it will generate oscillation, then reduces overall gain. Then stability is the major problem and more care to be taken while designing a stable closed loop system.